and electric vehicles were designed solely to tackle climate change. Weren't they supposed to shift away from fossil fuels to control carbon emissions? More and more people turn to EVs owing to growing awareness. In fact, governments also announced complete transition goals. Is the government hiding groundbreaking technology from us? Back in the early days of YouTube, you would get literally hooked on videos about air-powered cars and engines. Many of them claim to be perpetual motion machines. So, is it true that the government is doing a massive cover-up? It was believed that the government was keeping these devices a secret. People thought it was all a big cover-up. After that, we could soon realize the truth, and it was much simpler. It turned out you could make an engine run on compressed air. That made sense. But as it turns out, vehicles powered by compressed air aren't very practical. The energy in compressed air is really low, even worse than lead-acid batteries. If you try and make it better by increasing the pressure a lot, you get a vehicle that's slightly better, but also very dangerous, like a bomb. Batteries today are safer and store more energy. You don't need a compressor to pump air into the car. You don't need a complicated engine. By going fully electric, you skip the middleman. But that doesn't mean people haven't tried. Starting with air-powered bicycles. Air-powered bikes are a popular project for university students and hobbyists. They're less time-consuming and less exhausting to build compared to steam-powered bikes. There currently aren't any air-pressured bikes you can buy commercially, because the range on a low-pressure air-powered bicycle is pretty short. Tata, the Indian automotive company, has partnered with MDI to make an air-powered car, and a company in the United States does too. Although progress seems to be slow, MDI has released a technical document explaining how it all works. The engine that uses the compressed air is a 430cc two-cylinder. MDI says it's reversible, similar to many steam engines, and every stroke is a power stroke. It also claims to have variable valve timing, and an engine that's made from aluminium. The maximum power is 9.4 horsepower, which is quite weak, even for a 430cc engine. It has an automatic transmission, likely to a CVT type, since no specific numbers of speeds is mentioned. This all seems pretty standard so far. The car is small. The wheelbase is only 58 inches. Its tiny size and weight are the only reason for its range. The AirPods' top speed is just 50 miles per hour. This information is explained in more detail in MDI's document on their website. However, all this engineering doesn't change the fact that these types of vehicles are limited by their poor energy density. So, why are people still trying? Air-powered vehicles are one of the most eco-friendly ways to get around. They don't emit any pollution at all. Also, the materials used to make them can be super eco-friendly and recyclable. And there's no need for messy batteries or dirty tailpipes. The only possible pollution could come from the factory that makes them. Finally, they're cheap to make. You don't need spark plugs, catalytic converters, cooling systems, batteries, and all that stuff. Just some air tanks, hoses, and pieces of aluminium with big holes drilled in them. None of that really matters though. If you were driving a fully inflated air-powered car and got hit by another vehicle, it would be deadly. Some say being vaporized in an air-powered car is peaceful, but I'm not so sure myself. The inefficiency of compressed air-powered vehicles is often dealt with by adding a gas engine or batteries. Hybrid versions of these powertrains theoretically have the most promise, especially in buses, but concepts have yet to hit the streets. They also need compressors to charge them, which can be loud. Since most people charge their cars while sleeping, this could cause problems. There are also other disadvantages too concerning air-powered cars. Stick to the dirty stuff then. So, it turns out a clean air-powered future isn't looking so good. And that's a shame, because the rare earth metals found in EVs are dirtier than most people realize. A common way to mine them is to dig a big hole, extract all the valuable metal, and then dump all the mining waste back into the hole. The alternative to gasoline are slowly getting cleaner, but there hasn't been a breakthrough yet. Hydrogen seems promising, but it's still very expensive. It's a shame compressed air doesn't work very well, but I guess we'll have to just keep waiting. Air-powered vehicles or compressed air vehicles are green vehicles that used compressed air engines as a substitute for internal combustion engines for propulsion. They operate based on the principles of compressed air technology. Air-powered vehicles use the expansion of compressed air as a power source to move the engine's piston. The engine used in a pneumatic vehicle is called an air-powered engine, which is an inflaction actuator which generates useful energy by expanding compressed air. As the fuel doesn't mix with the air in the engine, so combustion doesn't happen in air-powered vehicles. 
Also, with the increasing cost of fuels, along with the growing demand for emulsion-free vehicles and their easy availability, are all driving the development of air-powered vehicles. Also, these vehicles offer lower toxicity of compressed air, longer service life, and higher energy density compared to conventional vehicles. The global depletion of fossil fuels has increased the demand for alternative fuels for vehicles. Just like electric vehicles are being chosen over conventional ones, air-powered vehicles are also becoming popular in the market and are expected to see high demand in the future. The air-powered vehicle market worldwide is divided into product type, vehicle type, and geographic coverage. The product type is further divided into single energy mode and dual energy mode. The single energy mode is expected to be the leader in the global air-powered vehicle market because vehicles with single energy mode use only compressed air for propulsion. Also, there is a higher demand for emission-free vehicles in developing countries and cities, which is expected to have a significant share of the market during the forecast period. The vehicle type is also divided into passenger cars and commercial vehicles. The passenger car segment holds the majority share of the global market because of improvements in urban and suburban emission regulations. Since air-powered vehicles are emission-free and comply with these regulations, the demand for them in the passenger car segment is expected to increase over the forecast period. Furthermore, the increasing demand for compact and lightweight vehicles is expected to boost the air-powered vehicle market across the globe. Major players in the global air-powered vehicle market include Motor Development International SA, Tata Motors, Magnetic Air Car Inc, Coupe PSA, Engineer PTY Limited, Magnetic Air Car Inc, and Honda Motor Company Limited, among others. The air-powered vehicle market is divided geographically into North America, Europe, Asia-Pacific, and the rest of the world. Asia Pacific holds the largest share in global market and is expected to maintain its dominance over the forecast period. This region is characterized by several emerging countries, including China, India, Indonesia, and Malaysia, which are major contributors to the automotive market. Additionally, various government incentives related to environmental protection have also boosted the demand for air-powered vehicles in the region. Moreover, this region is the largest exporter of air-powered vehicles due to low raw material and manufacturing costs, affordable labor, and advanced infrastructure. Europe and North America also sees exponential growth in the global market. The rise of awareness about keeping the environment clean and pollution-free, along with the development of emission-free vehicles, is expected to increase the demand for air-powered vehicles in these regions. The global market for air-powered vehicles is expected to be worth $1.18 billion in 2024 and grow to $5.98 billion by 2029, with a yearly growth rate of 38.25% from 2024 to 2029. Air-powered vehicles, also known as compressed air vehicles, are eco-friendly. They use compressed air engines instead of traditional internal combustion engines. These engines work by expanding compressed air to move the pistons and drive the vehicle. Because there is no fuel combustion, these vehicles don't produce harmful emissions. The rise of greenhouse gases from traditional vehicles has pushed automakers to look for cleaner alternatives. Air-powered vehicles are one such option, emitting little to no pollutants. They run on compressed air, which is released and expanded to move the vehicle. The compressed air is supplied to the engine by an air injector, which then moves the crankshaft to power the vehicle. So let us know what you feel in the comments box. And remember to hit that like and subscribe button for more content like this. Until next time, take care folks.